A question that is causing some real confusion when it comes to the potential spread of COVID-19. We asked a local doctor, can the virus be sexually transmitted? And the real answer is, it depends. ABC 4's Nicole Newman explains. Back in February, at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic in Wuhan, China, some semen samples were collected from dozens of men who were infected by the virus. It was through a collaboration of medical and research professionals that included Dr. James Hotailing from the University of Utah. They looked at them on average 30 days after they had recovered, and they looked at the semen samples of, you know, about 38 of them, and they found that there was no evidence of COVID in any of those semen samples. The male patients included in this study only showed mild to moderate symptoms of the disease. In another study, Dr. Holtailing explained medical researchers looked at another set of patients. Other study is a smaller hospital, uh, I think it's possibly a military hospital, like in the same area of China, um, that looked at a group of 50 patients um, who were quite sick. 12 of them actually were either comatose or dead. So they looked at 38 of those patients and they found that six of them had COVID in their semen. Of the six, four of them were actually hospitalized when they collected the sample. The doctor says the answer on whether or not COVID-19 can be sexually transmitted depends on the question you want answered. You want to answer the question of when you've recovered from this horrible virus, are you going to pass it on, you know, um, through your semen? Our study would say no. You're, if you are having those relations with people when you're quite sick, you may pass it on through semen. At least that's what their study would say. Dr. Holtailing says if you are being intimate with someone who is very sick with COVID, more than likely you would catch it anyway through breathing it in from the infected person. In Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.